everyone so we're going to scoop up this paint and see if we can use it in another painting so there are a lot of colors involved in this one um, so I'm going to also use up the little bit of white that was left by trying to pour some in and just give it a little bit of a break in between the colors and see how that goes so just trying to get the stick underneath the paint so that it doesn't muddy um, before I even get to use it. So scraping it in the same place in the cup, letting it run down the side and then adding the white wherever possible. So cleaning up the table now, I'll just put that um, the rest of that white in and leave the cup sitting on top while I get everything ready. All right, so let's see, I have a 10 by 10 inch canvas. And I just thought I'd pour it out like a, a bit like a dirty pour and see how it went. It was blur. Like, I actually didn't like the way I ended up pouring it out. So instead of that being my finished piece, I used that as the already wet background to add some new paints to. So all these colours are very vibrant. That looks awesome. And I have sped this up a lot. Um, this whole thing took me an hour. And I've broken that down into five minutes. So there we go. Just thought maybe some little balloon smashes, balloon press. Um, might not make it look pretty, but all it did was brought through that that mud from underneath so I just continued to go all right I'm here let's just keep working with it so, because I am trying to get some diagonal pieces I thought I'll turn it so that I know which corner I'm focusing on and just once again I'm going to go with what comes to mind and go with the flow. So just trying to pretty much draw out these lines, dots, swirls, spirals um, straight from the bottle. <laughs> so. It was a little bit of fun getting that done. Then I thought maybe it looks because the background did get that muddy and then the black. I thought I'll add in some gold to highlight some of those areas. And then just um, run the back of my paintbrush through it again to kind of just help them settle in together to each other and um, look a bit, little bit more joined if that's even a thing because by this point I was well and truly just so focused on what will I do here, what will I do there and just continuing to go with what came to mind again with the spirals. Um, so I ended up doing those spirals in my previous painting and they are what have come out again. So I do enjoy the, the smooth flow of the spiral, I guess. So I know this has been very quick for you. Um, 
So thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And hit the bell and you'll be able to select all to receive notifications of new videos coming out. So there's a bit of a closer look. I enjoy looking at it. So that's one of the main things. So now we'll just leave it to dry and see how that goes with all that extra paint on there. There we go. So thank you so much, everybody. Be kind, be creative, and be fabulous. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.